Hello everyone, Genesis Writer here with Genesis Thoughts, episode number six, where I take basically questions or topics and really go over them in an in-depth analysis and detail. Now, this video is going to revolve around my thoughts on the game Destiny, recently released by Bungie. Bungie's the same creators of Halo. They handed off the Halo series to 343 Industries, who is currently developing the Master Chief Collection, and Halo 5 Guardians. But we're going to be talking about Destiny today, and I want to warn those of you who are really enjoying Destiny or who really like Destiny that this video is not really geared towards you, and I'd recommend just skipping it entirely. Um, in fact, you can skip to the end of the video where I'm going to show you guys a few funny moments I had during Destiny. I'll leave, leave a timestamp in the description so you guys can jump to that par portion and see those funny moments if you want to skip over this kind of kind of a little bit negatively geared Destiny review um, because I'm not going to be playing the game anymore. So to give you guys a little bit of backstory, I bought Destiny Limited Edition, as you can see right here, the day it came out for $108 from GameStop. I also played the Destiny beta. Um, and I was able to talk with Lurker Zero and Delementary very, very in depth about some specific details during our first Affinity podcast. And it was really, really interesting because Lurker Zero likes Destiny. Delementary um, played the beta and then did not purchase the game because he played the beta, and didn't like it. So if you guys want to check out our discussion of that, please watch the video in the top right hand corner. Um, this is go with this will go into far more detail than this video will on my thoughts on destiny but here we go um here here are my thoughts on destiny and what i think of it the beta sold me the game the beta gave me a warped impression of the game what the game would be and i only realized this after talking with us with uh elementary and lurker zero essentially Bungie's known for their storylines, especially in their first-person shooter realm, because of Halo. And I was under the impression that Destiny would have a very in-depth and awesome storyline. When playing the beta, I was not very impressed with the player versus player aspect of the game because Halo was more competitive, and mainly because Destiny has super abilities on each of the three classes that charge up inevitably over time via your accumulation of score in a multiplayer match that you can use. These are essentially one-hit kill abilities. It's very frustrating in games like uh, the Territories mode or Zone Control mode in Destiny because you'll get supered in a, a zone and that constantly happens throughout uh, a match, let's say. And I really just would rather play Halo than the player versus player aspect of Destiny. For those of you who like to get gear and then bring it over into the multiplayer of Destiny that actually levels the stats of your gear and compares it to other people and doesn't even out the stats of the gear, then I'm sure uh, that's awesome for you. But uh, via playing the beta for Destiny, I was under the impression that I would play more of the PvE, the player versus enemy part of the game. So you can see where I'm kind of going with this. So when I when I played the Destiny beta, it exceeded my expectations, I'll put it that way. Normally betas like Titanfall beta, Halo Reach beta, Halo 3 beta, they have a limited portion of the player versus player multiplayer available because that's the portion that the company wants to test. That's what the whole that's what the beta is all about, right? So the fact that they tacked on a, a rather significant portion of the PvE aspect of the game via the Earth Cosmodrome part, they essentially let you explore all of the first planet and all of the first planet storyline, which I didn't realize how big of a chunk of the actual game that was. In the beta, I was assuming that this one planet was one of a wide variety of planets, at least 10 planets that you could visit. I'm not exactly sure why I was under that impression. Maybe I've been playing games like Skyrim or, or other games, Mass Effect, the games that are huge where you can visit so many planets is unbelievable. And I should have realized that Destiny has this, this uh, rather large scope that it's going for, trying to shove a lot of players into one map with the cloud computing servers and pretty advanced technology. But when I actually got the game, when I realized you could only visit four or five planets and that the storyline that I saw in the beta, which was rather limited and I was a little concerned about that, but I was like, okay, it's going to be fine. Bungie's going to do okay with the storyline in, in the actual game, right? They're going to fill in everything. You're going to have NPCs you can talk to and stuff like that. That didn't happen, okay? 
And this was real. This really hit home with me because I got into games because of storylines. I am. I love a good story in a game. Um, not only just in Halo, but in Mass Effect and a wide variety variety of other games. Um, the storyline is crucial for me. Um, it really, really defines whether I like the game or not. I am not one of those type of people who went and downloaded Flappy Birds and played it for hours and hours because that is a gameplay only experience. There isn't a storyline that goes along with that. I have little to no interest in games like that. Um, even Titanfall with its really cool wall running and, and really e even Destiny has a very uniquely programmed double jump that I really liked. I the, the fluidity of the Destiny gameplay is substantial. Only Bungie could pull off something like that. But the gameplay alone is not enough to pull me in. Now, there's another aspect of the game that is pulling a lot of people's attention right now, and that is the grinding nature of the game. Once you hit around uh, rank 20, I believe it is, in the game, which I have not reached, and I've not even completed the storyline and probably won't, um, you get to a point where you max your rank, but you can increase your rank by getting by adding extra gear via light points that are attributed to that gear. So basically the game devolves into a grinding experience where you have to grind over and over again through the five or six planets that you can actually visit. This is a very limited experience. Even Di Diablo 3 is really based around a whole lot of grinding for gear and people actually make money off of that game and I, I think that's really cool I think that's a neat idea and I like that you know Destiny has that for people I I like that Bungie has tried to market Destiny as a game that a wide variety of people would enjoy but and, and they really pulled it off well okay they really pulled off um, selling the game it has sold very very well they really pulled off um, making the game just enjoyable and fun to play with friends but I could already tell the not very long playing into the game that it was going to devolve into this grinding experience where I'd have to repeat missions over and over and over again I've only done a whole lot of grinding with one or two Final Fantasy games and a few other games that really weren't grindy based. And uh, the last time I can really remember grinding through something was Halo 4 Spartan, Spartan Ops to uh, get to SR 130 with double experience points, which I really should not have done. But I don't enjoy grinding. It's not something that I really want to do. And I and yes, you're grinding for gear and, and higher level things with a promise of DLC content that will be released in the future, like strikes and raids. And there's a lot of positive feedback coming from the strikes and the raids. These are very high level missions. I think you have to be a minimum of 26, level 26, to even get, you know, in, experience the first uh, true raid that they have in the game, which gives out very high level gear and stuff like that. It's really, it's cool, all right? It's a, it's a very cool, promising idea, but I am simply not willing to grind through to get digital items in a game, essentially pixels changing color, okay? I'm not, it's just like I'm not willing to actually pay for avatar content for my avatar on Xbox Live. I'm not willing to do that, okay? And I, I know, that's really simplifying it, pixel changing color. That's really, like, you know, basic. It's more than that, obviously. But it's I can't bring myself to mentally spend that amount of time in a game for very little payoff. There's there, there's no backbone to the game with its storyline. So I don't know. And I want to give a few more examples of the storyline. There's no NPC characters you can walk up and talk to and relate with. And they tell you more about the story in the world. Yes, there are cutscenes. And yes, your character does talk somewhat, but all the interesting characters in the game, the, the stranger and, and the all various characters, they, they don't have enough personality and character development. I really wish I could just walk up and talk to them like you can in Mass Effect and Skyrim and all these other games. If the game had had that portion to it, I would definitely still be playing it. I'm not even joking. The grimoire cards that you unlock by finding dead ghosts, the essentially collectible items scattered throughout the Destiny PvE universe, they unlock various lore that you can read on the Destiny app or de Bungie.net, but that is not enough to actually make me continue wanting to play the game.
And for a lot of you guys, you're probably like, well, Genesis, you spent $108 on this game. Why would you not want to go ahead and continue to play it? The, the bottom line is I'm not enjoying myself, okay? I, I'm not. Um, it's not that the game is bad. It really isn't. It's, it's a game for a sp very specific type of person that was marketed by a company that is wildly popular, and the company marketed it towards everyone. Like, it's, a, it's an activity that everyone can enjoy, which is great because I sold a lot of copies via that method. But there's a lot of people who are recognizing that the lack of story in the game is just a huge uh, breaking point. Um, I'm going to link you down in the description to a text review, if that's your kind of thing, where someone in a few paragraphs summarizes the game and what they thought of it and their thoughts on the game that I really enjoyed and it really resonated with me and talked about a lot of things that I mentioned here in this video. I'm also going to link you to a very, very well-made video by Game Trailers. It's a review of the game and they're very non-spoilerific with their reviews and they're very cut to the chase very, very pointed with their reviews, and they're not 20-minute, 30-minute reviews. This video is just a little over 10 minutes long, I believe. I'll link that to you guys in the description down below as well. And it readily identifies all the things I've talked about here, but in a much, much more succinct and interesting way. And I hope you guys understand that Destiny is not a game that is that is bad. It's just a game that I, I'm not enjoying. And from this point onwards, I'm probably not going to be pre-ordering um, any more online-only or multiplayer-only component games. I'm only going to be pre-ordering games that I that I know about, like Halo or the Halo of the Master Chief Collection, where I know the, the games that exist in there, or a game that has a significant single-player experience, and I know it does, that I'm already familiar with, like Mass Effect, or more recently, more uh, in the future right here, Alien Isolation, which I'm very hopeful to play on my channel. So guys, I hope this uh, helped you understand how the Destiny gave me kind of the Destiny beta gave me kind of a warped impression of the game. Then when I bought the game, I was kind of let down and disappointed. If you guys enjoy the game, um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you very much for um, watching this video, and and I'm sorry for kind of bashing the game in that respect. There's a lot of people who like this game, and props to Bungie, the developers, for trying out this new area of thought. Um, once again, if you want to see a lot more in-depth thoughts on my thoughts of Destiny and um, also Delementary and Lurker Zero's thoughts, again, please watch our podcast that we did, our first Affinity podcast. I would really like a lot of people to go watch that um, up here in the right top right-hand corner. You guys can click on it right there. I'm sorry for the setup behind me and everything. Um, my microwave is actually... Uh, right there but um and my refrigerator is being covered up i'm trying to cover up all this stuff so you know it's not tacky or whatever but i, I am still rearranging boxes someone asked me why have i i know this is kind of off topic but someone asked me why has my move taken so long it's because my room is so small guys like my bed is just literally like right here okay and that's it all right it, this room is very very small and i've had to you know compensate for that so um, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for future Halo 4, Halo 5 Guardians, Halo the Master Chief Collection content. Also as well, I'm going to be playing through Alien Isolation, and I hope to be uploading that to my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace. <laughs> yep, I need that. Oh dear, I just, I just drove off the map. Oh wow. My gosh. I'm so bad. Hold on, I've never seen an enemy like that before. Oh, that's, that's, that's really cool looking. Dude, it just completely. Oh, nice. My, uh, look how my no Nova Bomb is doing damage to it. Yeah, it's dead. Awesome. <laughs> I got exploded by it. Wow. There's just people right for the taking down bottom mid. 
One shot bottom mid, one shot bottom mid. Nice, my grenade actually hit him. Nice snipe. No. Wow, look, it's a Rubik's Cube. Wait, the Rubik's, Rubik's Cube. cube. Yeah, look at, that's awesome. <laughs> it looks like a modern. Oh wow, you can move it too. So this the, is what people on Venus did for fun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> they I they punch played it? around with giant Rubik's cubes all day. Hold on, we gotta solve this, guys. <laughs> Keep hitting it, it'll change eventually. Yeah, exactly. Watch this, you guys got a ton of guys behind you and in front of you. Another Rubik's Cube, it's a yellow Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> There's a yellow exploding Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. It exploded. Well, this, I, think you've, I think you've learned your lesson not to play with Rubik's Cubes anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dang it. <laughs> nice work. I found a Rubik's Cube. This better oh, go ahead and shoot it. Garden. Let's go get our key. Okay. Oh, Aww. it didn't blow you up. That's so dumb. I, I, the ruby skew must like not like me or something. It's because I'm a girl, isn't it? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it probably doesn't like you. It likes me just fine. <laughs> are you indicating? Are you being simple. sexist right now? Are you being sexist? Yes, I think I'm being I... sexist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sexist Rubik's cube. Yes, very much so. Oh no! <laughs> you dumb <hole. laughs> I'm gonna try to hit a few of these with my Nova Bomb. Okay. I got two back-to-back -back Nova Bombs, that was pretty cool.